Hello, this is Chef Carol, and today we're going to make Wilton's Unicorn. To make the unicorn, I'm going to be demoing the use of the size and blending tray. However, because the process of making the unicorn and going through the uh, training is in excess of 15 minutes, I'm going to break this into a multi-part series. So this will be part one. The things that you learn about the sizing tray, if there are any questions about it as we go through the video, I'm just going to suggest that you come back to part one and look at the instructions. Well, let's get started. Today we're going to make a unicorn. Now, the unicorn that I make today is going to be a temporary unicorn uh, because I'm going to use it. I'm going to make it using um, Play-Doh. So I'm going to use this Play-Doh or Softy Doh. I'm not promoting any particular brand um, because you make these figures and unless you have a cake that you're about to put together, you will soon have a full collection of uh, 3D figures. So for our purposes, I'm going to use Play-Doh. Now, in addition to the things that you will need in order to do this, you first want to go to the Wilton website and download the instructions for the unicorn. Now, the instructions are going to give you the sizes that you need in order to make the unicorn. But the sizes are based on the use of this, um, this shape and sizing tray. Now, you may not still be able to find this in the stores, but I'm pretty sure you can find it online. So what this will do is it will give us the correct sizes that we need in order to make the legs, the arms, the heads. Now, if you don't have access to it, um, I'm going to give you some sizes, and this is what you'll use to measure out your dough. So if you have a small scale around the house, an ounce scale, then you just break off those pieces and get these measurements amounts. And they're approximate, depending on the size of your unicorn. So in order to make the body, we would have to have in this tray, size 11 and size eight. So we would use uh, 11 and an eight box. And for the back legs, we would come down and we would use a four uh, for the front legs, we would use three. For the head, we would use a 10 plus a four. And for the ears and the horns, we would use a one. And for the mane and the tail, we would use a two. And for the rug, we would use an 11. The measurements, if you don't have this tray, are as follows. For the body, you need 1.2 ounces. For the back legs, you need 0.35 ounces. For the front legs, you need 0.26 ounces. For the head, you need 0.61. For the ears and horn, you need 0.04 ounces. For the mane and tail, you need 0.51 ounces. And for the rug, you need 1.75 ounces. And as I said, those are approximate figures. Now, in addition, you'll need a few tools to get this unicorn completed. Now, here's a few of the things that I've chosen to use for this demonstration. So as I mentioned, I'm going to use Play-Doh. Now, the unicorn sits on a rug. And as a Wilton instructor for many years, I have all types of little gadgets that Wilton has come up to make cakes more beautiful. So for this, I'm going to use this little rug mat. Now, additionally, when I've taught um, floral decorations, this is a, a portable rolling mat that also we use to keep products from drying out. But for today, I'm just gonna use this side here to uh, shape up the dough. Now, additionally, you need a rolling pin. This is a nine inch rolling pin from Wilton with uh, the rings, the rings measure 1 8 and 1 16 ounces. And what this does is it helps you determine the thickness of your um, flower, or in this case, the mat that we're going to roll out. 
Now also, you can eyeball it, but if you're making it for the first time, it might be a good idea to have a ruler. And the ruler will help us when it says measure two inches for the legs or you know, an inch and a half for the head. So this will come in handy. I also will be using a couple of um, fondant tools. This one is called the knife tool, and this one is called the dog bone tool. And this I'll use to put the eyes in the unicorn's head, and this I'll use to make some of the markings on the legs and on the, um, on the face. Now, because I'm going to make this a temporary unicorn, I'm actually just going to use these little stirrers to um, hold the pieces on. You could also use toothpicks as well. And if you were making this as a permanent fixture, you might need to uh, use a combination of uh, water for your fondant just to let the pieces hold. You might need like small pieces of toothpick and water just so that they will hold the ears up and keep the head on straight. So these are the things that we're going to use today to get started on this unicorn project. If you're interested in what we're gonna do, stay tuned, it's gonna be fun. And if you like what we do, then please subscribe and let me know that this is something that you'd like to see more of. So this is my series, the first in my series of 3D characters. Let's get started. For today's lesson, the first thing we're going to do is make the rug for the unicorn. Now, according to the instructions, we need a size 11 ball of dough. So we're going to take the sizing and blending tray and look for number 11, which is here. I'm going to take my dough and I am going to push it into all the corners and crevices of this blending tray. Then I'm gonna take my knife and cut off the top. And I will store the excess back into the can to keep it from drying out. I'm going to pop out my size 11 piece of dough. And now I'm ready to begin making the rug for the unicorn. So if you're using fondant, you would color it according to um, this uh, instructions, this ball of dough or this rug would actually be the color teal. So you would roll your fondant until it had no creases in it. The instructions also call for a 1 16th inch thickness um, so on your, on your roller, the pink rings are 1 16th of an inch. So I am going to roll this out. Now if you're using fondant, you might want to dust your board just to keep it from getting stuck to the board. I'm not really having a problem with the Play-Doh, but it is Play-Doh. Now I'm going to take the brick road and I am going to roll this out. I'm going to actually remove the rings because the brick rug is raised. So I'm gonna roll that over. I'm going to remove the brick rug. nicely imprinted. Now if you have a biscuit cutter, and if you don't have a biscuit cutter, you can actually just use a can. This is a six inch tuna can. I'm going to use the biscuit cutter. And I'll cut it, remove the excess, Put my unused dough or fondant back into the bowl. When you're working with fondant, you actually have to make sure you keep it covered most of the time because it will dry out quickly. 
and uh, you want it to stay moist so that it will um, help your project stick together. So here I have my rug ready for the unicorn. I'm going to take it and put it in my spare folder, keep it from drying out. And now we have our rug and we'll be moving on to the next item.